after rectification of the following errors effect on net profit will be 1 a check dishonored 3100 debited to discount account 2 sales book undercast by 23000 3 a customer return goods of value 1200 included in stock but not recorded therefore what is the question after rectification of these errors the effect of the net profit will be increased by 24900 decreased by 24900 increased by 23700 and no change a increased by 24900 b decreased by 24900 c increased by 23700 and d no change so this is after rectification mind you after rectification what would be the effect on profit a check was dishonored it was wrongly debited to discount account so profit will go up by 3100 because i'll remove it from the discount debit to an expense account profit will go up sales book was undercast short now if i rectify then sales will come up by 23000 therefore my profit will increase a customer returned goods of the value of 1200 it has been included in stock but it has not been recorded <clears throat> so if i record return so that would be a loss my sales would come down by 1200 therefore <clears throat> what would be the effect on profit is 23100 plus 23000 Minus one thousand two hundred equal to twenty four nine hundred. It will increase by twenty four nine hundred. After rectification, the profit will increase by twenty four nine hundred. Correct option A. <clears throat> the following are the errors committed while the entries are posted in ledger. The following are the errors which are committed while entries are posted. One is error of principal. Two is error of commission. 3 errors of partial commission and 4 errors of complete omission. <clears throat> Correct answer B, 2, 3 and 4. Errors of principle Errors of principle <clears throat> are committed when errors of principle can be committed only when the recording happens. So if you put a revenue item in a, treat a revenue item as a capital item, that would be an error of principle. So that happens at the time of recording and not at the time of posting. But errors of commission could happen at the time of posting. Errors of partial omission could happen. Errors of complete omission, complete omission of uh, posting could happen in case of uh, <clears throat> posting in the ledger. Therefore, correct answer is B, 2, 3 and 4. Which of the following is not a difference between provision and contingent liability? Provision and contingent liability. A. A provision meets the recognition criteria, whereas contingent liability fails to meet the same. Provision is a present liability of uncertain amount, whereas contingent liability is a possible obligation which arises from past events. Provision can't be measured, whereas contingent liability is absolutely measured. D. None of the above. Correct answer is C. Provision can't be measured whereas contingent liability is absolutely measured is wrong. Even contingent liability we may not be able to, cannot be measured in absolute terms. <clears throat> so it is not really a difference between provision and contingent liability. Next. The suspense account facilitates the preparation of dash even if the dash has not been balanced. The suspense account facilitates the preparation of A. Trial balance even if the financial statements have not been balanced. B. Preparation of ledger, even if the trial balance has not been balanced. 
facilitates the preparation of CA's trial balance even if the ledger has not been balanced. Or D, suspense facilitates the preparation of financial statements even if the trial balance has not been balanced. The correct answer obviously is D. The suspense account facilitates the preparation of financial statements even if the trial balance has not been balanced. Therefore, correct answer D, financial statements and trial balance. What will be the effect on capital account after rectifying the following errors? Purchase of a cycle for rupees 3000 was debited to conveyance account. Fixed assets are depreciated at 10%. To credit purchase of goods from X for rupees 2500 was wrongly entered in the sales book. 3. Cash received from Mr. A rupees 1500 was posted to the account of Mr. B. A. What is the question? What will be the effect on capital account after rectifying the errors? It will be debited with Rs. 2300, credited with Rs. 2300, debited with Rs. 2700 or credited with Rs. 3800. So let us see. Purchase of a cycle for 3000 was debited to conveyance account. Now when we rectify, your profit will go up and capital will be credited by 3000. But depreciation had to be charged for 300. So let's say the net effect would be increase of profit and credit to capital 2700 for the first transaction. Credit purchase of goods from X was wrongly entered in the sales book. It is actually a purchase. Now when we rectify, the sales will be cancelled 2500. And again, purchase will have to be added. Overall, there will be a reduction in profit by 5000 or a debit to capital by 5000 cash received from mr a rupees 1500 was posted to the account of b will not make any difference so 2300 would be the loss or debited to capital account correct answer should be a debited with 2300 mind you the, these questions are after rectifying. What is the effect after rectifying the following? Diwali advance given to an employee is <clears throat> A. Revenue expenditure B. Capital expenditure C. Deferred revenue expenditure and D. Not an expenditure A festival advance, Diwali advance is not considered as an expenditure. It is a loan given which will be returned later and therefore the correct answer here is D. Diwali advance or any festival advance given to an employee is not an expenditure. <clears throat> Rohit carrying on real estate business sold a piece of land for rupees 4 crores, cost 3.5 crores. Then the type of receipt is... Dash nature and profit on sale is dash. That means the type of receipt is A, capital and profit on sale is transferred to capital reserve. B, the type of receipt is revenue and transferred to profit and loss account or the type of receipt is capital and transferred to profit and loss account. D, it is a revenue, the type of receipt is revenue and transferred to general reserve. Mind you, Rohit carries on real estate business. His, his business consists of buying and selling property. He sold a piece of land for 4, lakh, uh, for four crores. It cost him 3.5 crores. So the type of receipt is a revenue profit and the profit on sale is transferred to profit and loss account. Correct answer should be B. Revenue in nature and transferred to profit and loss because he is carrying on a real estate business. A contingent asset is A. Usually disclosed in the financial statements B. Usually disclosed in the notes to accounts C. Usually disclosed in the reports of the approving authority D. Not disclosed anywhere A contingent asset is disclosed in the reports of the approving authority. So the correct answer should be C. 
contingent asset disclosed in the reports of the approving authority.